Hi, it's me. Hi. How's it going? Well, I'm getting along so far. Okay, I'll let you get back to your sleuthing. Be careful. I love you. This is George Fain. After the tone, please leave your name, phone number, and a brief message. Thanks. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Can I help you? Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you, you may proceed. Well, well. I see our local hero has shown up for work. Not only can she waste everyone's time with prying questions, but she can find the time to save Rick from being blown to smithereens. Can I ask your advice on something? Rick's really been flirty with me. Should I take him seriously? <laughs> I think Rick's completely out of your league, but he'll flirt with any skirt. <laughs> well, if you were good enough for him, then why shouldn't I be? Listen, you don't know a thing about Rick and me. He used me to meet my friends from L.A. to try and schmooze his way into films. All along, I thought he really loved me. He just walked all over me. <laughs> Gee, I'm sorry. I didn't realize he did that. Yeah, well, that's ancient history. Just like it is between Rick and your friend Maddie. What do you mean, between Rick and Maddie? Well, come on. Everyone knows how Rick dumped Maddie. Rick gave her some bogus story about needing his space to concentrate on his career. Yeah, he had to concentrate on ditching Maddie to date me. You know, I don't think Maddie ever got over it, to tell you the truth. Well, can you tell me something about Owen Spader? No, I can't tell you something about Owen Spader. Why should I? It's none of your business. Well, I'll let you get back to your business. Bye bye. It's open! Why, hello! I hear you've become quite the celebrity, saving Rory Dunner from those diabolical traps set by that cold blooded scoundrel, Yuri. Thank goodness you had my wire cutters, else you would have been blown all the way to Bakersfield. Don't you mean Rick Arlen? And who is Yuri? No, I mean Rory Danner, young lady. Yuri is Rory's evil twin. He's always trying to bump off Rory. With his brother out of the way, Yuri thinks he'll have a clear shot at Serena. I've been trying to help him ever since Rory showed up in Jackson's Wharf. That Rory Danner needs to be taught a lesson. Do you know where I can find Owen Spader? He's a stagehand, I believe. Good luck finding him. I've yet to meet him face to face, even though he signs out props all of the time. I should get back to the set. Goodbye! Don't take any wooden nickels, young lady! Entrez-vous! My hero, Nancy Drew. You know, according to ancient tradition, if someone saves your life, you should serve them for the rest of your life. So, what can I do for you, young lady? Your wish is my command. Mm. 
Yeah, right. Well, you can tell me if you've noticed any suspicious characters around your dressing room lately. Yes, I have. They're named Agent Harris, Officer Jostowitz, and Detective Bonnet. It appears I've been quite a celebrity with the local authorities. Hey, I hear Detective Beach is looking for a new star. Do you think I should do some research with my new friends to land the part? Tell me, Rick, do you know a guy by the name of Owen Spader? Yeah, yeah, I know Owen. He was with the uh, Beekman Theater, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's kind of short and stocky. <laughs> oh, don't tell me you're seeing him. <laughs> don't break my heart, love. Can I ask your advice? Dwayne Powers is my agent. He's pretty good, isn't he? Dwayne's a loser, babe. Don't tell me he's representing you. Is that so bad? He represents Maddie. Yeah, and that's a problem. Maddie hangs on to Dwayne like my Aunt Mimi hangs on to cats and old newspapers. What is the story with the prop master? Old Millie Strathorn! Heir to the worldwide broadcasting fortune. She's great, except for the fact that she's never liked me. She thinks I'm too big for my britches, and that I wouldn't know a good thing if it came up to me and stuck its finger in my nose. So tell me, Rick, who haven't you dated on Light of Our Love? Oh, you've got quite a reputation on this set. Whatever anyone's saying, I can guarantee that it's all wrong. I swear! I'm just misunderstood, that's all. Uh-huh. So you've never dated Lillian? Okay, I admit it. Lillian and I had a brief fling. But my heart's true to you, love. Is that why Lillian is so bitter? Lillian's a nobody. She was always after me, and things were breaking up between Maddie and me. It was just a rebound romance. I know, I've got this bad reputation as being some kind of Casanova, but everyone's got a second chance, you know? I just wish sometimes I could go back in time, just wake up and find it was just a dream and start all over. I wouldn't be known as Rick the Slick then. Listen, I gotta go, Rick. Be careful, okay? Stay beautiful. Entrez-vous. It's open! Oh, Nancy, I'm so glad that you're okay. Everyone's been talking about that bomb scare. Rick's still shrugging it off, but I can tell he's upset about it. Did Lillian and Rick date after you both broke up? Yeah, Rick had been after Lillian for a while, pretty much to meet her film friends from out west. I warned her about Rick, but she didn't listen. Now she bears a grudge against me. Rick's pretty good at loving and leaving them. What a loser. Rick's not like that. At least he wasn't with me. Everyone has this idea that he dumped me, but it wasn't at all like that. He had a lot of trouble dealing with the pressures of his career and a relationship at the same time. We saw it happening and agreed to split up. Rick's a wonderful guy. I have no regrets. Tell me, do you know someone by the name of Owen Spader? No, that doesn't ring a bell. Wait, no. No, I'm pretty good at names, but I've never heard of him. Well, I'll see you later, Maddie. Yeah, I should get back to learning my lines for tomorrow. Good luck. Taxi! Yeah, what's the address? 318 West 10th Street, please. You got it. Hey, taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! It's locked. Hello? I don't have much time to explain. Can you meet me at the studio later tonight? I know you won't have any trouble getting in. Hello? 
Hi, it's me. Hi. How's it going? Well, I'm getting along so far. Okay, I'll let you get back to your sleuthing. Be careful. I love you. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. I need something to make this work. I see our Miss Snoop has shown up. Why did you ask me to come here? You see, I've been doing my own investigation, and I kept on finding more and more things until... till I got a threatening letter yesterday. Can I see it? Do you still have it? Now do you believe me? Who could be doing this? You must know. It has to be Dwayne. Dwayne Powers? But why on earth would he... With his intense hate of Rick, doomed financial situation, and that clever disguise as Owen Spader, Dwayne had every motive and opportunity to commit these threats and traps. That is correct, Ms. Drew. And now for the bonus round. Name the washed-up director and interfering actress who will be dead in a matter of minutes. Hurry up, contestants. Time's running out. It's him! Up in the control room! And he's locked us in! Lillian, hide! Why, hello, Ms. Drew. I only followed Lillian here, but I've trapped both of you. Your deaths will make a wonderful end to Act One. Rick Arlen's death will be the climax to this little soap opera I've produced. I'm calling it One Death to Die. Dwayne, why? Why do you hate Rick so much? Maddie and Lillian have more reason to hate him than you do. More reason than I? Rick Arlen has to die and I'll tell you why. Because he killed me. He killed Dwayne Powers! So, you were behind this campaign of terror all along? I wish I could take credit for it all. But it was really Rick who started it. He sent the first letters, probably to drum up publicity for his failing career. And Lillian, of course, was kind enough to supply him with the tainted chocolates. You see, Ms. Drew, everyone hates Rick. I'm doing the world a service by getting rid of him. Maddie still cares for you. You're making a big mistake. Enough! Words, words, words! You will soon see that I am a man of action. I'll come down for the final close-up. I'm gonna write you two out of the script forever. So sorry about your short-lived career, Ms. Drew. It's Nancy. locked. Hurry, Nancy! Open up in there! Open up! It's coming down! Think, Nancy, think! It's curtains for you, Ms. Drew. 
<laughs> no, don't! No! Enough! Words, words, words! You will soon see that I am a man of action! I'll come down for the final close-up. I'm gonna write you two out of the script forever! So sorry about your short-lived career, Miss Drew. Open up! Braces, everyone! Hurry, Nancy! Words, words! You will soon see that I am a man of action. I'll come down for the final close-up. I'm gonna write you two out of the script forever. So sorry about your short-lived career, Miss Drew. Open up in there! Open up! Braces, everyone! For you, Mrs. Drew. What's going on in here? Hey, you! This is the guy we've been looking for. Congratulations, Nancy. You solved the case. Way to go, Ralph. Forget about it. Dwayne's in the right hands now. Case closed. Dear Bess, another mystery solved. Dwayne is now awaiting trial for his attempted murder and has publicly apologized for his crimes. Lillian has moved out to California and is directing her first film. But the best news is about Maddie and Rick. They finally decided to tie the knot. Well, as Serena and Rory. But who knows? Perhaps it'll rub off on them. There's always hope. Love, Nancy.